Hi everyone. In this session, we are going to give a brief introduction to trigonometry function. So, let's start with the cis trigonometry function and how they relate to each other. So, one of the functions is cosine of s. We also have sine of s. Then we have tangent of s, which is equal to sine of s over cosine of s. Then we have cotangent of s, which is equal to cosine of s over sine of s. Or we can also write it as 1 over tangent of s. Then we also have secant of s. This is 1 over cosine of s. Then we have cosecant of s, which is 1 over sine of s. So, these are the six trigonometric functions you should know. So, remember as well that all trigonometric functions can be defined in terms of right triangle. So, this is the right triangle. So, this side is the opposite. This is the opposite side. We call this side the opposite side. Then the longest side, we call it the hypotenuse. We call this the hypotenuse. Then the shorter side, we call it the adjacent. Right? So we this is the this is the right triangle. So from this from this right triangle, we can get the definition of the cis trigonometry function using what we call as so ka twa. So using this so ka twa, we can define the cis trigonometry function, which is cos theta. So cos theta, this s is representing sine. This is sine. This c is representing cos, which is co cosine. Then this t is representing tan, which is tangent. So this is this O is the opposite, H is the hypotenuse, then A is the adjacent. So cos, uh, cos theta is going to give us adjacent divided by hypotenuse. Then sine theta is going to give us opposite divided hypotenuse. Right? Then tan theta is going to give us opposite divide adjacent then cotangent of theta is going to give us adjacent divide opposite then secant of theta is going to give us hypotenuse divide adjacent then cosecant of theta cosecant of theta is going to give us hypotenuse divide opposite so these are the cis trigonometry function we can define using this so katua so remember both the relationship between all the between all cis of the trigonometry function and their right triangle definition would be very very useful in this course so this will be very very useful in this course so you need to make sure you memorize this so we need to touch on radians in most classes instructors tend to concentrate on doing everything in terms of degree maybe because it is easier to visual uh, to visualize degree the same is true in many science classes however in a calculus class almost everything is done in radian so I'm going to write a table of some of the basic angle in both degree and radian. So, I'm going to write the table here. So, this is degree. So, in degree, let's, we have the angle 0. Then we have 30 degree. We have 45 degree. We have 60 degree. 90 degree. 180 degree, 270 and 360. So guys, this is 
the common angle we are going to see a lot in calculus so in radian in radian 0 degree is also 0 radian then 30 degree is going to give us pi over 6 radian 45 degree is pi over 4 radian then 60 degree is pi over 3 radian then 90 degree is pi over 2 radian 180 degree is basically pi in radian then 270 degree is 3 pi over 2 then 360 degree is 2 pi so guys you uh, you need to try to memorize this so knowing this can help us to visualize each angle so in the next lesson we are going to introduce what we call unit circle so unit circle is going to be very very important in this course so you need to understand unit circle for you to be able to understand trigonometry function so in the next lesson we are going to discuss unit circle